Hello everyone, it's Cinquanta and I am back with a update on Canva. They have released Canva 2.0 in the beta version. So I'm just gonna quickly go over Canva 2.0. Um, it has already basically explained for you that you cannot edit your Canva 1.0 designs in 2.0. So just keep that in mind and you are you're able to switch back and forth. So I am going to possibly just start uh, from now on using Canva 2.0, but know that I can always go to back right here and go to Canva 1.0. So I did, um, I kind of looked around it earlier, which I noticed that um, the designs that was here are no longer here, but you can type in what you're looking for or you can just look at the drop down window and everything that you had before is still there um, they've added seem like a few things they have calendar reports tickets planners proposals birth announcement death announcement engagements gender review graduation move-in pregnancy obituary that's interesting um, architecture book cover that should be something good to play around with as well. Um, the other things at the top are pretty much familiar. When you look over here, they have, I guess, the few recommended ones. And it has like a slide and you can go and see what else may be there. They do have your designs below. Um, as far as I can tell, the main screen here has changed. I did play around with the buttons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the custom dimension. So we still have centimeter, millimeter, inches, and pixels. So we are going to do the millimeters to go over the Canva uh, book cover for KDP. And the dimensions are 457.2 times 304.8. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create design. And then I'm going to kind of show you guys what... Is new I haven't fully gone through each element but I did pretty much kind of give it a little uh, look-see just to see um, I did notice here that when it says publish you can download it present it make it a um, animated here you can send it to your Facebook page Twitter LinkedIn Pinterest Tumblr WeChat now you have the option to basically, um, I'm assuming to print the document right from your screen or this is their printing service. So I'm not completely sure about what that is. So um, just keep in mind that I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at this just like you for the first time. So here... You have your elements. The setup is totally different. Um, instead of, you know, it just being like the shapes and stuff and lines and stuff first, they give you your free photos here, grids, shapes, your lines, and other elements below. You have your text box here, different designs here as well. I'm guessing this will close this up a little bit more to give you more space. Hmm, interesting. So um, your uploads here. We've always had folders. Um, I just haven't really used them. Uh, this is different. Let me see apps. Okay, so here it says Animation Pro. Turn your Canva of uh, stuff into GIFs. Organization. Your brand kit. Your fonts pro. So now you can add up to 25 custom fonts and use them with any designs. Magic resize, one clicks and it takes you instantly resize your graphics. I want to know if they added in a, um, a custom resize to this. Transparent background, Canva schedule, save time by scheduling your social media posts right from Canva. That is freaking awesome. So you can upload them to uh, Facebook from here. So that is freaking amazing. Let me click on this magic resize real quick. Let me see what they're working with. Hmm. Okay. Same, save time with our one-step tool 
one click is all and it'll take takes to transform your images to perfect dimensions okay so I'm confused I clicked on it and it didn't do anything so that's interesting so you let's see show margin show bleed zoom in etc edit design I think that's where we are resize okay so it still has the same resize options okay so we are going to um i'm going to go to elements they used to have like backgrounds let's see if i can find them they always had like these dope backgrounds i may have to type it in now but that was a feature that i love so i'm going to go ahead and type in backgrounds okay looks like we have um, some new look like it may be some new ones and they are like grayscaled before they were their own colors so let's see oh look at the look at the um the square box is like a different color so Let's see. Transparency, length, position. So, let's see, middle. What does copy do? Oh, it just copies it. Um, where's the color? Okay, here's the color. So, let's see. I turned it all purple. We didn't want that. Okay, so let's try another one. Trying to find a uh, one that will, you know, give me some good color. Oh, so you can adjust it here. Add a filter. Looks like some different filters. So let me go to the color and see. It's not doing what I wanted to do. Oh, now I get it. So this time around, they have made these backgrounds grayscale so that you can put the color you want on the background. Ah, okay. I see y'all, Canva. So I just picked that. So let's, let's delete that one and pick another one and see how it looks on that color. Pick a different color here. Okay, so this looks different. The color picker does look different. All right, so that's fine. Okay, got a little fishy background. Ah, some watercolor. See that? That makes sense because before you had to go with the color they choose now it's like because it's like a grayscale you get to choose a color y'all this is a game changer right here i'm trying to tell y'all if you listen i've been using camera for a long time and this is a much needed upgrade so i'm gonna go ahead and go with this and go go back to these elements Let's see Excited it. Give me a line to make sure that I have um, centered this. Okay. Let's see all of the lines. I'm sure they upgraded a lot of the things that are in here, which is dope. So I wonder if the lines are this big or it just looks like this. So I'm going to click a line so we can they're really that big wow so we can find the center 
there we go again make that transparent and then we're going to add some text so before it used to say add um, text or something now it says text placeholder so I deleted that and it went all the way away so I'm going to say oh yes trust the process so now it looks like as soon as you click it your words um, will go in automatically and you don't have to delete that I love that so I think I'm probably going to enjoy using Canva 2.0 um, 10 times better than the old Canva so let's click on here see what the fonts are talking about see if my fonts are still there kind of waiting on this to drop down let's see do I have to do that all right here we go okay so that's one font so let's see if there's another one that I like better than that this one okay so it says trust the process move that over just a little bit and there you go you have a cover and I just want y'all to know that y'all can't put things on the back. Let me see. Um, not sure if my logo is in here anywhere. It's in here someplace. Down yonder. I am a triple OG Canva user. Don't don't mind that. <laughs> that was for a erotic book. <laughs> All right. Just looking for one of my logos, but if I can't, it's okay. I'm just gonna show you guys that y'all can put something on the back of your book cover so this would be super cute on the front too though I might yeah, I'm gonna switch this out and actually use one of my logos and then I'm gonna go ahead and make this a book I'll probably change the color I don't know if I'm gonna keep the yellow but that's super cute but you can put anything on the back of your book. You just, whatever it is, you cannot be like in this square part, like right here where the barcode goes. You cannot have anything right there. So be mindful of that when you are creating. Um, if it's something that can be covered, awesome. Like a, like a picture that's over the whole design, but it cannot be like words. It cannot be words. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then find the color I want and go back to these elements. Oh, go back to backgrounds. Oh, look, it saved it. Find me one that I like. Let's see how that looks. Super cute. Okay, let me see. Let's see if we can find another one. Let's see what this one is. So we're going to send that to the back.
and I love that. I'm gonna trans make this transparent, and bam, a new book. So my business partner is dope. It's a six by nine. I usually put it here, so but yeah. So let's see if I hit share, what will it do? Share for people. If I click download. There we go. So I'm gonna download it as PDF print. Okay, they even the download bar looks different. So everything has got a facelift on Canva Point 2. So I'll continue to play around with it, but that was a rough draft. <clears throat> and showing you guys what you can do. So you can continue editing. Your download should have had automatically stuff. Look at that. That is so dope. So let's see if it says publish. Let's see. Let's check out this print thing. What does this print mean? Is it going to take me? Print your design. Turn my design to a flyer. So I think this is if you want, yeah, their printing services. Okay, so that's what that is. So you know, I have to make sure I click everything for you all so you can kind of see. Okay. Then we're gonna iron. You know, if you run a business or whatnot, there's so many options of things you can do with this. But that was my rough draft of Canva for you all. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video check out my easy money starter pack at bit.ly dot uh, backslash easy money starter pack and then bit.ly backslash easy money starter easy money starter pack t-shirt I will also be doing a how to self publish uh, book live going through every step the correct way with you guys I have not decided if I'll be using Ingram spark or I'll be doing the KDP, but I will like to make sure that I actually go through a process with you all and get your input in. I would like you all to be a part of this book with me. So again, stay tuned. Um, you can book one-on-one -on -one sessions with me to learn more. If you have more in-depth questions, if you want to know what I know, <laughs> because I haven't shared everything, I'm giving you all the easy stuff. So if you want to get an in-depth a tutorial on something that you have not seen I can most definitely help you out with that you can look for my link on my website to book your one-on-one -on -one. Um, it is twenty dollars for right now uh, I probably will be upping my fee very soon so if you want to get in on that twenty dollar fee for the limited time only go ahead and hit me up and we can get you scheduled right away um, last week I talked to people I've walked people through lots of steps, so I'm looking forward to all of your testimonials. I'm loving all the messages, emails, shout outs on Facebook, Instagram from all of you who've created your journals, who are now making sales, who have started a, a t shirt line, and who are taking control of your lives. That is all that I want you to do. So Good luck in your endeavors, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.